everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 21 of The Ancient Magus Bride. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> so yeah, with this episode, the witches were completely not helpful at all. Um, <laughs> Elias and Chisei go there in their dreams, and they basically come to the conclusion, yeah, we can't do anything. Sorry, our friend here was just trying to save this old lady, and I'm just like, really? Really? Ugh, okay. So... But Elias was given a piece of paper by that lady who tried to get them to save the old lady with Chisei's dragon weird curse thing. And, um, I guess the paper probably said you need to sacrifice someone so Chisei lives? I guess, because that's exactly what he ends up doing. Or tries to do, anyway, and Chisei stops him, luckily. But I'm like, Elias, 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 oh, you are such a jealous person. Because who he chooses is Stella, and I'm like, no. No, Chisei is going to be so angry, and who oh, she was. Uh, huh. So yeah, um, Elias and uh, Ruth kind of work against her. They even like put her to sleep so she doesn't see it all happen and stuff. But luckily, Chisei's smart enough, and she has a little talk in her mind with uh, Navin, the dragon that died like way long ago. Um, and she like stabs herself in the leg, and I'm like, oh, that's gotta hurt. But after that, she finds you know. Uh, Elias talking with Cardophilus, actually, because Cardophilus has, uh, or Joseph? I don't know. Uh, has Stella's body under his control or whatever? It's, it's weird. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing, but... The thing with that is, you know, Chisei doesn't find that until after she yells at Elias and is very upset with Elias. Even so, she's still upset with him because he still tried to sacrifice Stella and put the curse in Stella and stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's just wrong, Elias. Look, I know you're jealous but that's going way too far, because he even mentioned, he's like, you know, you look at Stella d b differently than you do me, and I'm just like, Elias, this is not the time for this. Chisei is on the verge of death. <laughs> um, but it's just, he did some rash things. I'm like, Elias, no, no. And that whole scene, though, where he goes to that scientist place guy, whatever, and there's no talking, I'm like, this is probably super important. He's probably getting, like, the, the spell or the something to do the sacrifice thing to transfer the powers. I don't know what he's doing when he's there, but that whole scene, I feel like that was really important, and we heard none of what they were saying, and that was really annoying. I really hated that. I was like, you're gonna play music over some really, probably really important scene? Really? Fine. I'm, I thought that was really dumb. I'm just like, really? Oh, God, but... Anyway, so after Chisei gets the help of Ariel, um, because <laughs> she's like, I can only trust you now because Ruth and Elias are uh, conspiring against me. Help! Um, <laughs> yeah, so she escapes, though, with Cardophilus or Joseph. I, I still don't get that. That thing's weird. Because um, he, she goes to uh, find Stella, and Stella's, she notices and everything. I'm like, yeah... And then she said does the rash decision to go with Joseph and he's gonna help her get rid of the curse for a price of some sort, I'm assuming, I bet you. Um, and then in the preview, it shows that she says gonna have to fight her past probably about her mom because I saw her mom, possibly her dad and little brother. So she's gonna have to go back into her past and work that out, I guess. And then she says gonna be fine, I don't know. Um... But yeah, then Elias is probably, he's probably upset now that she actually, you know, went. And she even took off her little necklace, so that's a problem, too. Lots of problems! <laughs> Lots of problems are arising, and they're not good. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Chisei will be able to deal with the whole having to go into her past and deal with the whole mother thing. Hopefully? Um... I'm pretty sure she can do it at this point. I think she'll be fine. And she'll get rid of this giant arm problem that she has. The dragon curse and the dragon will live. So, what'd you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!